Hi guys, it's Kelly here and I am back with another video for Trinity Stamps. Today we are using the Very Cute Layered Mug, the Freezen Season add-on, Snowflake Trios, Bitty Tags, this Snowflake Wrap, this old school one, that's how long I've had Trinity Stamps. Um, the, it's the candy candy jar, I think. And then the kind of the star of the show here is this four bar envelope die set. This is an envelope set that you can build, but then it also has layers. Um, and so I needed this. I'm using these like in my real life. This is not just, you know, to make for a video. Um, I'm giving these to my family because I struggle with giving like gift cards and things because it feels very impersonal, but I have nieces and nephews and things like that. And that's what they want. They want gift cards. So in order to make them a little more customized, a little more personal, I thought it would be really cute to make these little envelopes to put in their, you know, gift cards. And then their other gifts, I get them little small things like candies and things like that. Um, you know, I can just kind of put the envelope with their little candies. So I fell in love with these add-ons like immediately and I was I, ha I totally had to have them. So I wanted to use them. I am going to use the main mug um to build them to build out the bear and to build out just the regular little mug with the whipped cream, but I am going to make those holiday. How I'm going to do that is I'm using the the Trios die, the Snowflake Trios die. But I'm also going to use one of these little snowflakes, not just for a snowflake, but to create some like greenery. And then these two that I'm cutting out of red are actually the bear's eyes. I'm going to use that to create some berries so I can create some like little Christmas decor that's going to go with my um, little mugs. And then also one that you saw me do out of white um, is the, that's from the candy shop one. I think it's supposed to be like a candy straw. I'm going to make it a peppermint stick. I only needed the die. I didn't want the stamping because I wanted it to match everything else without the outline. I also cut two of these little bitty tags. They're so cute. I chose to do the heart and then this longer tag because um, Trinity has this it's a great sentiment set. They're all like super teeny tiny. Um, and it's, is it a sentiment for everything? Is it, what is it? Sentiment for almost everything. And one of the ones in there is Merry Christmas. Fits on that bitty tag. Perfect. This is my layers for my envelope. And I just picked the same colors I was going to be using in the mugs. I wanted something that was going to be really subtle. So I am stamping in Versamark. Um, this is just a clear embossing ink. It will make a slight, it's like a tone on tone. So it will be slightly darker. It's really, really hard to see on camera, but you can see it in the still photos. Uh, there will be still photos on Instagram, also still photos on my blog. Um, if you would like to see them up close, you may, <laughs> you may want to look at the still photos because I had some technical difficulties with this. Uh, video. You'll notice it's still a long video because it takes me a long time to make cards. <laughs> but um, the detail portion, so you guys will get to see all of the making of the mugs, all of the mugs being put together. You know that I'm a big fan of including that in case, you know, you're just getting your die for the first time and you need to see an example of how to put it together. I want to include those things. So thank Jesus he got me through um, building all of them out, but the detail work, my camera stopped working. Uh, I still don't know how I'm going to fix that, um, but I just had to push on because I had stuff that I needed to do. So hopefully it, I'm letting it, I took out the battery, I unplugged it, I'm letting it kind of reset itself, and hopefully it will come back around and I will be able to use it. If not, I guess I'll be putting a camera on my Christmas list. Um, so anywho, these little tags, some of the mugs have black in them, like the bear, the penguin, um, and some of the mugs don't. And so I chose to do them two different ways. I did some of them stamp, just stamped in black, and then I did some of them white heat embossed. And so I'm going to treat it with my anti-static tool. I'm going to ink it up with some white pigment ink, and then I'm going to stamp it down. Now, I personally like to stamp it twice, so just very gently, so I'm not smushing it down to make sure that I get good pressure. I would rather stamp it gently twice and know that I'm going to get a clear, crisp image before I add my embossing powder. Um, 
And then I'm gonna pick it up with my tweezers. I am using a white detail embossing powder. I will knock off all the excess, put the rest back in the jar to save it for another day, and then heat set this till it is nice and smooth. And then I'll have these nice little white on craft. This is actually, um, I think this is sand from Hero Arts. So now let's get into the building. These are so easy. So I'm gonna use two different sizes of Trinity's um, rip and stick tape. I'm gonna use the six millimeter and the three millimeter. And so basically you cut your, uh, your large piece, you only need one large piece of the envelope, but you need two of the side pieces for each envelope that you wanna build. They are pre-scored. You can see me folding on those lines. I am just reinforcing those lines with my scoring tool from Trinity. And then um, once I have all, I just went through like assembly line style. That's how I roll when I'm making multiples. And so I just went through, I folded all of them. And now we're going to want to put the tape on the inside of the bottom flap and then on the outside of your layered piece, like your side pieces, you're going to put them on the outside. And then you can also use liquid adhesive for this. I just found this to be much, much easier and much less messy. I didn't have to hold them. As soon as I put them down, they were adhered. And it's a strong adhesive. My envelope isn't going to fall apart. So I'm going to peel the release paper, and then I'm just going to line this up with the flap pointing in. I'm going to line it up with the side, push it down, and then I will flip my envelope around, do the same thing with the inside flap pointing in, line it up with the side, and push it down. Now, for the to connect these two, that's where the three millimeter tape comes in. Again, you can use liquid adhesive, but I'm going to run this thin piece because they do overlap. I just picked a side um, that made sense to me. So I guess it's the left-hand side that I put on, no, the right-hand side that I put on top, no, left-hand side that I put on top. Um, and then I just folded it over, pressed it down. Then you will release the um, paper from the bottom piece, fold that up, and you will have yourself a fancy little four bar envelope, which is perfect for a gift card. These are also really great for, um, like maybe you're giving a gift that isn't like tangible, like an experience. Like one year I bought my husband um, like uh, tickets to a game. Uh, we went to a baseball game and I like, but everything's digital now. So I didn't have actual tickets to give him. So I just printed them off and then you could just fold them up and put them in this little, this cute little envelope. And um, then that way you would still have something for them to open, you know, their experience. So when I do a lot of die cutting, I always put everything in a little cuppy, and that way I don't lose any of my pieces parts. Once I have all of my die cutting done, I am just like separating everything out so all of my pieces are with the mug that they're going to go with, and then I'm just going to start building them. Now, because the set was new to me and I had never put it together before, I decided I was going to start with the easiest one. Here is that die that I used um, that's a little candy straw from the candy jar. Um, and this is me turning it into a little peppermint stick. I just used a Copic marker and colored in some diagonal lines. Nothing super fancy here. Um, I just, just enough to make it look like a little peppermint stick. And I think it worked. <laughs> I think it did okay. So with each of these mugs, they all have a base layer and then two layers that go on top, part for the handle and part for the um, center piece. And you can change the color of them for most of them I did. For the penguin, I did not. For the penguin, I left all the layers black except for, you know, the penguin face. So because I had never done these before, I did cut out the inside of the mug for each one of these, but I didn't end up using it because I gave them all whipped cream. So here you can see the whipped cream there. And then if you didn't want the whipped cream, this would be the inside of the mug that would complete the cup. Um, but since I am doing the whipped cream, I don't need that piece. And then for this one to make it Christmassy, I'm going to add that greenery with the berries. I'm going to add a little snowflake on the front of the mug and my little peppermint stick. The marshmallows are included in the uh, original set, the Berry Cute set. Um, so you could add 
you know, if you pick up any of the add-ons, they have an add-on for Halloween too. I didn't, I don't have that one yet. You, don't you worry. I'm going to get it for next year because it's adorable. Um, but these are just really cute. Like all my sisters are coffee drinkers, um, you know, or like hot, you could do hot chocolate for the kiddos. Uh, I just, I really, really like them. I know I'm a, I know I'm a coffee person. I'm a mug person. Um, but I just think they're totally adorable. So anyway, I cut apart my little snowflake to create my greenery. I tucked three behind and left two in front. Um, you, you know, you certainly could arrange them differently. Or uh, Trinity does have other dyes that have greenery in them that you could absolutely use. These ones I was just already using to get that large snowflake for the mug. So since they were already on my desk, it just seemed like good sense to use what I had. So that is uh, what I decided to do. But, you know, I fully support you when you using whatever you have to make it work. Um, so, yeah, this, I mean, sometimes when you do this for a living, like, sometimes your equipment just does you dirty. And that's exactly what happened to me today. Um, I don't know what is going on with that camera. Uh, and normally, like, at the end of each video, I have, you know, where I'll just kind of lay everything out so you guys can see it. And then I finish my little wrap up. And um, so this time around, that is there. But I had to take the, <laughs> I had to actually take a picture with my phone and then edit the picture to put at the end of the video like because sometimes life just be like that and you got to just you know overcome and roll with it this camera is um it's like an actual camcorder the, the camera that I film with and it is quite old I got it for I think maybe like my second mother's day and my oldest child is 10 so it is almost a decade that I've had it. It's probably been out on the market for way longer than that. They don't even make it anymore. Um, so I may have to put a, uh, a video camera on my, I know a lot of people film with their phones, but like my phone does not have the, um, the memory to be holding a bunch of videos. I learned that, uh, way back when we were doing the, um, furniture, we were, we used to, I mean, I guess we still technically do, um, own a company for refinishing furniture, even though it's temporarily closed, according to Google. Um, oh, so here, so everything's put together. Now here, I'm just trying to figure out my layers. Um, I did end up stamping six of these background pieces, even though I'm only doing five envelopes, because I like to have options. Uh, I decided that I did like the craft behind this one because um, it created enough of a contrast. And I also decided that I kind of like them adhered a little like cattywampus, a little to the left or a little to the right, not straight on. It just added to like the whimsical feel of it. In order to add my tags on, I am using this as very thin, just like jute twine. This one is from Maya Road, but whatever you have will work. You could use DMC uh, floss. You could use metallic thread, like just use what you got. Um, but I thought that this was really cute and it tied in the little craft color. Now, this was the first one that I did. And pretty quickly, I realized I should have put something down to hold my knot. Um, so I am going to go back in with some more of that like rip tape and put it underneath the knot to hold it in place uh, once I get my little bow settled here. And then for all of the other tags, I actually put down the tape first, tied my first knot into the tape, pushed it down, and... Um, then I was able to tie my bow. I also, um, you guys can see I use the, the glue press from My Sweet Petunia and Tonic. Uh, that glue dries matte. Um, so once I get everything where I want it, I'm going to just hit it with like a little bit of glue, push that down with my finger, and it should hold. I should have no issues. Because my twine is so thin, I didn't need to pop it up. If you use a thicker twine, you may have to add your piece um, with foam tape to allow room for that twine. But mine's super thin, so I didn't have an issue just adhering it down flat. But again, uh, it just depends on what you're looking for. Putting these on foam tape and popping them up would be really, really cute because these are going to be a gift in themselves or attached to another gift. I'm not worried about my pieces overhanging my envelope. Um, and then the nice thing is like if you're like, oh, this is a really great size, uh, you could use these layered pieces to actually create a 
card front um because there's two or three in the set i actually think this set was originally created as like a valentine's day because it's got some hearts and stuff we use that later on but it's got like little sentiments that are included in it and things like that that are just absolutely adorable um but they have, Trinity has lots of envelope builders. So if you're a person who's into building your own envelopes, I would highly recommend you check them out because they're super easy to use. And you'll see as I'm going through this, even though every one of these mugs is different, um, I'm getting faster every time I'm putting them together because I'm getting more comfortable. Now, typically I don't make multiples of things, um, but in this case, because it is for the holiday, uh, I did need multiples. Now this one, this little bear, I modified it just a little bit. The original intention is for the bear's ears to go on the back of the mug, um, but I wanted to use the whipped cream, so I decided I was going to put the ears in the front. And so what that way when I put down my, um, what is that? Like the front of my bear, like the cover piece of the coffee mug. Um, I did not press down the top. I left it so that I could pick it up and slide my little items underneath. So I put his little ear in there. Um, and then I slid some more like greenery, like almost like he's got a little flower behind his ear. These, I think this one would be really cute. Like if you wanted to create a little girl bear, you could use, if you choose, you know, if you have both sets, you could use the little deer's eyes with the eyelashes. You could make yourself a little girl bear. That would be adorable, um, you know, for maybe like a, a, like a birthday card, like a his and hers mug kind of thing. I did that for my husband one year. Um, since we're both avid coffee drinkers, that was his birthday card was two mugs and one said his and was says hers. And I decorated them differently and stuff. Um, but anyway, so this is like a darker brown cardstock. The lighter ones are out of that same like craft color for the inside of his ears, his little snout uh, that will all match the tag. And then I use the marshmallows that I had left over that I didn't use on the first one on this one to decorate the little uh, whipped cream with the marshmallows. And he got his own peppermint stick as well. Um what was I even saying, guys? Do you remember? The, I was talking about the camera and then, I don't know, we got sidetracked. So anyway, I'll, I'll just have to figure out something, um, a way to, to make that work because this is my J-O-B now. Um, and I just had to, probably like two months ago, I had to replace my microphone because that died as well. Um, so yeah, sometimes... Sometimes it'll just get you. And I know, like, we put them through a lot. Oh, I was talking about my phone. That's what it was. Um, like, my phone just doesn't have the space on there. Um, and we learned that when we were doing the uh, furniture. Uh, because we were trying to do, like, reels and stuff for that particular business. And it was just, like, it was too much. My phone was like, no, ma'am, I can't do it. I'm not equipped for this. <laughs> Uh, so I do think that I would prefer to just have a regular camera that has its own SD card uh, and doesn't have, you know, the data for everything else on it. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking I might have to put that on my Christmas list. So for this one, the backer is going to be this kind of darker teal color. Um and I thought that that looked really nice with, like, the chocolatey brown of the bear. Uh, really, really thought that that was super cute. And then I'm going to do the tags and stuff off camera because that does take a minute and you've seen it. The only time that I'm going to show you the tag again is for the reindeer. And that's because I had to adhere it just a little further over on the side because of the way the reindeer is put together. So this is the penguin. This is the one that is all like black on black on black. Um, there was a, I had a follower who recently did a penguin card and she had made the comment that there's these um, to look up fairy penguins. Um, and they're actually like a navy blue. They're adorable. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, you could do a navy blue if you wanted and make a fairy penguin. For his little cheeks and his nose, I didn't want to take the time to cut out a bunch of the pieces out of different colors. So I picked a middle of the road color, which was like a peachy color. And then I colored his nose orange and I colored his cheeks pink. Um, it just made it easier for assembly. 
I did have a hang up though with this little penguin uh, and it was my own fault. So I put his little body on, adorable. And then I added my little whipped creams. Um, but when I went to go, there was like too much glue, um, too much glue that I put down for his eye instead of like a little dot. I got quite a big dot and I ended up getting the glue on his face. When I went to go erase it with the adhesive eraser, uh, it wasn't dry yet. And so I ended up just like smearing it all over the place and it was a total mess. So full disclosure, I ended up cutting a second piece of white and then just adhering that over the old, old one. It ended up working out okay because in the detail work that I have no video of, sadly, um, I added glossy accents to his eyes and some stardust stickles to his cheeks. Uh, and so it kind of filled in that area nicely, but that was in between the, the gap. Um, but yeah, speaking of the detail work, I should probably talk about that since you guys aren't really going to get to see it. Um, all of the whipped creams have like a beautiful little indent that for the, you can see it I think um you know it's just like an embossed portion um and so I went over the embossed portion with some stardust stickles stardust stickles just bring on the color of whatever you put them onto so that's pretty much the only one I own I use the stardust stickles for all of my berries for my peppermint sticks the red portion of the peppermint sticks and then all of the little red heart tags that I added also got glitter uh with these stickles uh, I'm trying to think if there was anything else oh the hat band for the snowman and the nose for Rudolph all got glittered I used the glossy accents to um, add shine to the marshmallows, to the snowman's nose, to the penguin's nose. Um, and then also on the bear, I added some little white highlights on his eyes and on his nose. And then the eyes and the nose got a bit of glossy accents as well. The reindeer, um, like I said, this one, I had to do the tag just a little bit differently because you can see how far over that, uh, ear comes over um which is totally cute it's really adorable um but it just meant that I had to put my tag down a little bit lower uh I didn't see an issue with it like it's it's just a little it's still up high but it's just a little bit farther over on the handle I suppose you could probably put the tags anywhere originally I thought I was gonna have to like punch a hole in the top and add my little tag um but it ended up going around the cup super cute with no issues. These are the eyes I were talking about that you could maybe put on the bear and make yourself like a little lady bear. That would be very adorable. Um, so here for the Rudolph, I chose the red background. That just seemed to make the most sense. And then it kind of gave me three red elements, the background, the nose, and then the little heart on the tag. Um, Red is more my accent color, and it's the same thing with the bear. Like, you have the red berries, the red peppermint stick, and then the red heart on the tag. For the one with the snowflake, red berries, red peppermint stick, red heart on the tag. Uh, for the snowman, um, I did the red hat band, the red heart on the tag, and then I ended up adding an additional heart uh, to the cup, just because it felt like a little, I don't know, he just, the little melted snowman felt just a little, the cups felt plain. Um... So yeah, there's, they're all just kind of tied together. I think they're, I mean, I know I keep saying they're really adorable, but I just, I can't, <laughs> they're just so cute. Like I knew as soon as I saw them on the website, I was like, I must, must have these. Um, and like I said, they do have a Halloween one. So I'm very excited for that for next year because obviously, you know, 2023's Halloween has come and gone, but um, I will totally use them next year. And I hope that they come out with more of them because I will use them. I will totally use them. Uh, so here, just putting down my reindeer. My reindeer does hang over uh, my envelope quite a bit, but again, because this is, you know, kind of the gift itself, I'm not worried about it. Mine are going to be hand-delivered. Um, if you were concerned about it, you could probably put this in a larger sized envelope um, just to you know, protect it and give you somewhere to put your address, you know, if you were going to put it through the mail. Um, I'm not sure 100% that it would fit in an A2, but it would definitely fit in a 5x7 for sure with all of the things uh, hanging off. 
So now we're onto the last one. This is the melted snowman. He's adorable. Also, you could use this melted thing to do um, like hot fudge around like the rim of a cup or like salted caramel for the original dye, um, you know, like the one we did with the snowflake. You could add that to it and it would be adorable. Um, but here I'm using it as it's intended to, you know, show like my snowman is is melting. Uh, just did it in white, white, the um, whipped cream in white. And then here I kind of had to... <laughs> Sometimes it's the simplest things that like get the betterment of you. I was trying to put this hat band on and so I put it on and I was like, does that look right? And I was like, oh, maybe I have it upside down. So then I flipped it around again and I was like, well, nope, that ain't right. So then I flipped it back around again. Like, can I tell you how many times I flipped this hat band back and forth before I was just like, Kelly, you don't have it down far enough. <laughs> Because I didn't. I totally did not have it down far enough. Um, but this one I did kind of have to lay out because you can put these anywhere that you want in order to make your your face and your arms. Um, so I kind of laid them out before I glued them down so I knew I would have enough room for my face. I had to bring my little cup back because my two little eyeballs um, I left in the cup because they're so small and I didn't want to lose them. But there's our little melted snowman. Um, he's, I mean, these are all just darling. I mean, I, I can't get over there. I hope my family loves them because I think that they're adorable. I am going to seal them once I put the item in with probably just like a glue dot. Um, and then that way, if they want to reuse them, they could save them and reuse them to give gift cards to somebody else. Who knows? I might get one of these back one year. That's how boxes work in our family. My mom writes everybody's name on the box and you end up with boxes for like Jacob or Kira or Michelle. And then, um, you know, you give them back to my mom and she crosses off the name and writes a new name on it and everybody ends up with everybody else's boxes. So for this one, I chose to use the other craft piece. Um, I did, you know, check it to see the craft or the red. Uh, ultimately, I ended up liking the craft better. It just looked softer. Uh, and so I used that. And then the last little piece of it that you're going to see that we have any video of is the little heart dies. Um, and then it will be just a full shot of all of them. And like I said, if you're interested in seeing kind of the, the detail work, um, I know a lot of you guys really like that about my cards. I like that part about my cards. Um, but you'll have to look at the still shots because there just isn't any footage of it. I, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. So this is all of them, all glittered and glossy accents and tags on and everything else. Um, I hope that this inspires you to kind of make your own custom envelopes for things that are maybe a little bit more challenging to give as a gift. Thank you guys so much for your time. I always appreciate you and I will catch you on the next video. Bye. 